Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Heal Your Heart EECP Treatment Center. Today we are going to talk about a very interesting topic called heart failure. So what is heart failure? Heart failure means your heart is not able to pump the blood adequately to meet all your requirement. For example, everybody requires some activities. They have to walk inside, they have to run and all this normal activity should support by the heart. When the heart is not able to support even the normal activity of an individual, then it is called as heart failure. So what is the major cause for this heart failure? Even though there are so many reasons, 90% of the heart failure is because of the reduction in blood flow to the heart muscle which causes myocardial infarction or heart attack. So when there is a reduced blood supply to the heart muscle, the muscle usually die because of the lack of blood or lack of nutrition. This is called heart attack or myocardial infarction. The other reasons are very numerous. Uh, to mention few, some of the drugs may cause heart failure or viral infection, bacterial infection, or it could be because of your chemotherapy or alcohol. So even though all this is there, heart failure mostly because of uh, myocardial infarction is a common entity. Now, in our clinic, usually we see another group of patients with heart failure because they are diagnosed in spite of them they are absolutely normal so it is like they went to a routine health checkup and in the routine health checkup the cardiologist did a echocardiography and they found out that the heart pumping function is less and then immediately the panic button settles in and the patient the patient get panicked and they come to the clinic now what was the result of heart failure it means when the heart is not pumping what would be the symptoms you will face the most of the symptoms in heart failure is because the heart as a pump is unable to give the blood supply to all the organ as it is needed. For example, let us take the brain. If the brain is not getting enough blood supply, uh, the patient usually talks about dizziness. They are not able to get up and they feel something called dizzy or uh, the head is rotating or uh, sometimes lack of memory. The short time memory is lost. So these are all the results of lack of blood supply to the brain. The same time, if there is a lack of blood supply to your kidney, then what will happen is your urine output can be reduced or your parameters like urea, creatinine, I mean uh, creatinine and urea, this all can rise, leading to renal abnormality. If there is a reduction of blood to your liver, I mean liver is an important organ, it needs continuous blood supply. But if there is a reduction in blood supply to your liver, what will happen is the liver enzyme started elevating and the total protein the liver produce also can come down, causes river problem. And finally the lungs and the lack of blood flow usually what it happens is it start accumulating fluid in the lungs so the patient become breathless even a minor activity they feel short of breath or if they lie down they started coughing and getting uh, getting up because of the fluid accumulation in the lungs so with all this ongoing the next important question I think in the patient perspective we should answer is my heart pumping function has gone down doctor could it be recovered or it cannot be recovered couple of years ago, I mean we cardiologists thought that uh, once your heart pumping function is lost, it could never be recovered. It's like a one way street. But now a lot of reason advancement in medical management and therapeutic strategy like enhanced external counter pulsation, EECP, we are sure this heart pumping function can be recovered in most of the patients. So it's not a one way street, still the heart pumping can be recovered. So this leads to another question. So what type of reduction in heart pumping function can be recovered and when the pumping function can never be recovered. So if you look at this, there are three types of heart failure. One is myocardial stunning. Stunning means suddenly some news or if someone suddenly hit you, you are stunned. You could react back to him or react back according to the situation. But unfortunately, you are stunned and you are not doing any effort, even though you are strong and healthy. This is called myocardial stunning. In the heart, what will happen if there is an injury to the heart? It could be anything. It could be a viral or it could be a lack of blood supply. The heart goes for a stunning. So this stunning is absolutely recoverable because mostly it can be couple of hours or couple of days or weeks, but still the heart pumping function can be recovered up to the normal level. Second is myocardial hibernation. Hibernation terms, everybody know sometimes animals they sleep even for months. It's not weeks, it's months they can sleep. Then they can recover and come back. 
but remember this myocardial hibernation happen when there is a lack of blood flow and this lack of blood flow is sustained for a very long period so the heart become hibernation so this could also can be able to recover if you intervene at the right time but remember the heart is already under the stress so highly invasive procedures may not able to help but some subtle procedure like lifestyle changes weight reduction and i mean control your risk factor and enhance your blood flow to the heart muscle by eecp this can all help you to recover the muscle not up to a full extent but at least partially so the hibernating myocardium also can able to recover and the third and final is what we call as a myocardial infarction or dead the muscles once it is dead unfortunately it could not be recovered but in spite of the dead muscle still there is a silver lining patient come back and say i i will look at your echo you maybe we look at your pet scan and said your muscle is absolutely gone which cannot be recovered but in spite of that your body will help you this is what we call as a body's natural mechanism to compensate for your low pumping function these type of patients are called compensated heart failure patient so the body itself is able to adapt for a new environment the reduced pumping function and these patients are usually asymptomatic they were able to do all the routine activity and some minor exertion without getting into shortness of breath or easily fatigability so this uh, heart failure is called compensatory heart failure now here also there is no requirement to go for a aggressive invasive strategy like a stenting or a bypass surgery you can able to do it in a palliative or a conservative way what we should do is as i said before weight reduction risk factor reduction and if you have other risk factors like smoking and alcoholism stop it and try to enhance the blood flow to the heart muscle by using a strategy called enhance external counter pulsation through this eecp treatment you can naturally help to improve the blood flow to the heart muscle and also make your body healthy so you stay healthy even if your pumping function is less or in the mid range so overall what i want to say is heart failure is a treatable condition so there is no need to get panic and now there are newer strategy like eecp which can help to restore your quality of life as it is like before you get into heart failure முறைதான் முன்னாடி கொடுக்கப்பட்டு